Hi everyone. Um, well, uh, I've been watching Dottie Joan and watching it, and especially the victim this Matthew. Uh, after l listening to her, I also feel like I should uh, do this. Uh, another reason is I try to get to media and also give answer you fucking law things and all that but everything is very complicated and this is the only way we can do it thank god google not google actually youtube for free uploads and all that so okay so what we are doing is i'm gonna make a series about how i met my narcissist husband and what are the uh, how things turn out and i will be doing one episode at a time so that you guys can have uh, this clear idea about what type of person he is but um, i don't uh, let, let it be i don't even want to talk too much about it unless it's benefiting me anymore so so i've got this uh thing here uh which is going to help me about what to talk about him okay so i it was around December. I just finished my birthday. I just turned 30 and we were in a very hype mode All my girlfriends and we were all like super happy. Not really happy. You don't get happy when you're 30. A little bit stressed, but whatever. So, and we were just uh, trying to make this, at least me, because I love being experimental and all that. So uh, we were just, um, I were just excited because i know like um i want to get married soon and maybe have my life figure it out my master's body rag with the dd you know i've got really cool friends at all so uh, during that time after 30 more birthday pussy i started using tinder before that uh, I did use it a couple more times, but I wasn't into it. I've got other things going on. So I started doing tinder after my uh, 30 birthday 2017 December so tinder my I met Ak Akash you know like I met him we match and the first thing I asked him and I looked through his profile picture and all that and he was like this super ambitious like oh I want to be make a food village in Ketipur and all that you know and he that's a really sexy thing in a man. Like, I always like man with vision. Like, man with a vision and logic, I would say that. Actually, man with vision, logic, and lots of money. Because Akas didn't have a pie with him. He was literally homeless. He was living in this uh, so-called tea house where he will just pass time and he'll just go scroll through Tinder, scroll through internet, and then just pretend to be this person that he always wanted to be so basically so when i met him he wasn't the first thing i did for him was i bought him like ten thousand shoes i know it's stupid but when i fall in love i fall in love super crazy and i sorry to admit but that's what i do and i do that other other people so people i love you know because uh, doesn't matter to me pohila early it matters nowadays i've stopped giving gifts to people especially one who is poor who's already super poor and who have this big shit going on i don't do that at least i try not to so basically when i met him he was jobless homeless clothesless one but he has this backpack a couple of t-shirts couple of pants actually i think he has two pants he has Probably two or three shirt. Just usko orda zola ma usko sabai kura out on the ani ah. Usko moza was also chatte ko you know he has torn moza. I don't know how on earth I can fall in love with someone so fucking poor. God, what is what was wrong with me? But I'll tell you. Keep following me. I will tell you the story how I fall in love with someone who don't have anything to give in in return. So that's how he was in the beginning i'm gonna make another one because it's already around a five minute and i don't want to cross it so i will tell you how i met him in tinder in next episode Mwah.